Hi folks, welcome to another chip break. We are recovering from the open house. What an awesome time. Thank you to everybody who came out. Awesome turnout. I, we had a great time. The feedback has been great so far. Video coming. We're waiting on some footage from other folks uh, to put that sort of compilation together. Check out this fire pit. Uh, shout out to Dusty Hicks who made this. Uh, has all the sponsors on it, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and that's really awesome. You know, that's how we raised all that money was through their generosity and through the folks that came uh, or bought tickets online. So again, thank you for that. We are uh, redoing our Haas tool library. So we're gonna have a video coming on that, but we ripped out most of the tools that I don't use on a regular basis. And I'm trying to get down a good workflow with, as between how we use Fusion 360 and how we tool up the Haas uh, so that we don't make mistakes. We, we goofed on a part uh, two weeks ago that really upset me. And it was because we had bad tool library management. The business lesson in this chip break, the book called The E-Myth Revisited. Link in the video description. I, re I read it a while back and I'm rereading it. And here's why you should read it. It breaks down um, some, some misnomers about entrepreneurship. But what I really like is something I've always believed in, which is I've always think about how there's sort of three versions of me on a daily basis, or sometimes two. There's the sort of business owner, entrepreneur, vision guy, and then there's a guy who just does work. Um, they break it down into the entrepreneur, the manager, and the technician. But I think it's really good to at least be aware of that and think about how you allocate your time throughout the day. It's so easy to abandon uh, really the management and entrepreneurship role because most of us are technicians. I actually really like running machines. I really like making parts, but sometimes uh, that means you abscond your duties to yourself, uh, thinking about how you operate the business and thinking about forward looking stuff. If you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, you have seen, we had a little surprise. Um, I couldn't get the chuck ground flatter than about one thousandth of an inch, which is a mile in the surface grinding world. I pulled the chuck off per some folks advice and here's some video footage uh, but it was a disaster absolute nightmare but i didn't think it was beyond salvage and so i spent some time this morning cleaning it up just getting going and i do think it's going to be salvageable here's the underside of the chuck um, again after a little bit of work uh, oh, we'll do a video of fixing it but also on some of the lessons learned speaking of chip break and entrepreneurship did you guys know that john grimzo and i do a podcast Every Friday we've been talking about uh, for about a year and it's pretty raw, it's just me and him. We did it as, for lack of a better word, an entrepreneurship support call to, to share in the struggles and successes and, and what are you doing. Um, so we decided to share those conversations because uh, he and I have each gotten a lot out of them. So again, link in the video description and we're working on uh, improving where that podcast is distributed. If there's anybody who um, wants it put onto another platform that we're not aware of, let me know. We're, we're kind of new to the podcasting thing. And last but not least, if you guys were at the open house, you may have seen this TIG welding booth, which was pretty cool. It allows you to watch somebody work. Why am I mentioning that? Because we have partnered up with Jonathan Lewis from Superior Welding and Roy Crumrine from Crummy Welding. Those guys are both awesome Instagram uh, welders to teach TIG classes. So there'll be a two-day TIG class, dates in the video description to sign up for, but no experience required, no equipment required. We're sort of converting this area into a TIG training area. It's awesome. These guys are not only good welders, but they have experience teaching. And if you've taught before, that's a rare uh, skill and it takes a lot to do that. So we'd love to see you here for either one of our CNC classes or the TIG class. Otherwise, folks, take care. See you soon.